for you. Take a look at this beautiful viewer photo coming into us from one of our U local members, Rag Apple Lassie Vineyard Sunset, taking the other evening. Gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. Love to see this. And we have more coming. We still have a little bit of sunshine in the mix for this week. We do have some mild air on the way for you tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, more clouds and rain chances are in the mix for us on Sunday too. That's okay. We're going to stay with those 50s and 60s. You've got 46 in Winston-Salem down to 44 in Sparta and Galax. Right now, your temperatures sit comfortably at 57 in Mount Air. We have 59 in Greensboro near 60 in Burlington. Nice evening maybe to grill out. And as we go through tomorrow night, we're going to be looking at some of those showers. So likely folks will be taking things indoors. 63 today for a high, 43 for a morning low. So about a 20 degree temperature spread from our morning conditions. 54 is a typical high, so almost 10 degrees above normal. Do you remember this six degrees last year back in 2015 for our record low? Yeah, no, thank you. All right, let's just forget about that. But we do have some mild air still in place, even though we're talking rain chances. So one batch of moisture here is down to the south, rolling through parts of Columbia, South Carolina and out toward the coast. For us, though, we see the clouds and another wave possible as the cold front approaches through tomorrow. And this is going to bring in rain chances that will be spotty. You can see them beginning around noontime through two o'clock in the afternoon for folks as we go up through Galax, Stewart. Then through Mount Airy and North Wilkesboro, it may be spotty into the late afternoon hours. Even heading east into the triad, it's not looking terribly fantastic in terms of coverage, but we will look at more rain later this week. So more of a nuisance kind of rainfall event for us. A few folks could get some good soaking showers up in the mountains and temperatures will be mild. So you're in the 50s, not looking at winter weather chances there. Your temperatures as we see overnight into Monday morning also will be in the upper 40s for the trotted foothills and low 40s. So for, for the mountains, so we're not looking at those wintry conditions. You've got 52 around 8 a.m. You've got noontime temperatures at about 62. This is when we increase your rain chances as we head into King out through Burlington, Yanceyville, Danville and through Ashboro 66 for that afternoon high. Yakinville with your East Bend and Pilot Mountain area about 66 to your rain chances up to 40% and the mountains. You still have the best opportunity for those rain showers throughout the afternoon and you may start around 11 a.m. through the noon hour. We'll be watching for some soaking conditions there. You might get up to a half an inch in a few spots. Our hour by hour shows us the wider view of what happens as we take you through Sunday into Monday. Monday looks to be a, a day with mixed skies. We may not fully clear out entirely. You could get some pockets of sunshine. It'll be a little cooler than this weekend. We'll in the 50s and then by Tuesday we roll in with more moisture here. It's going to be a system coming in out of the south and southwest for us Tuesday into Wednesday that ushers in the best opportunity for rain this week and some of it may be heavy. We have rainfall totals out there that will be anywhere from a tenth to possibly a quarter of an inch or just over that into Monday morning. It's the heavy rains later this week on our seven day forecast that we'll show you Tuesday into Wednesday, even an isolated thunderstorm. Temperatures in the 40s Tuesday, back up into the 50s Wednesday, but we're cool or behind this next system. It's going to be rather cold and gusty. We'll keep you posted on that. Possibly snow in the mountains.